Opening statement, Coach. Um, it was a great team effort, great team win. Playing fast offensively, especially early in the game. Uh, we protected the ball. And uh, we scored when we needed to score. When we, when we had opportunities to score. I think we uh, three four in the red zone, missed the field goal. But other than that, uh, we scored when we needed to score. Defensively was the most impressive thing about us. I think our, our special teams were, were really extremely solid. You know, that's two weeks in a row for our special teams to play sound. Um, but our defense played lights out. Uh, we, we didn't give up the big plays like we uh, gave up in the past. That's great to get to shut up. Coach, in the first quarter there especially, well, first half, the whole first half, Andrew was just really in the rhythm. It didn't matter if they threw zone or main coverage. He was making the right reads. From your angle, what were you seeing throughout that first? He was 15 of 18 in the first half. That's the Andrew I, I know. I see it every day in practice. And I know how great he can be. I, I just want him to go out and relax and have fun and be himself. And that's what he did. And when he's playing at that level, we're, we're pretty hard to stop. And then just kind of where you're at as a program. I mean, you have done such a great job steadily building this program on. So I've got kind of a two-part question. What's what's the next step from here? And if it, from my angle, I may be off, but it looks like it's just really building depth behind the talent you already have. Yeah. So so it's funny you ask that. Uh, when I when I took the job, my goal was to lay a foundation. And so I think uh, you saw that foundation being laid in the, on the last season uh, with uh, quite a few freshmen that we played early on. Those guys that are just some are redshirt freshmen, some are sophomores, and, and we're still building those those bricks to, to uh, what we want to want to be. And so I think uh, what's next is we take it one day at a time, one game at a time. And we just continue to build upon uh, what we've, we've done so far. So um, you know we, we we got some depth that's injured right now. We're playing with, with some guys who, who we anticipate not to be playing with, and we're, we're gaining experience at the same time. So uh, we play a lot of guys. And every guy that comes on the trip gets in the game, and we expect them to get out there and, and do, do that job. Coach, uh, talk a little bit about the defensive front. Obviously, you've been five and seven on the season, so the second year has been playing really solid. Talk a little bit about the guys up front and, and the guy next to you who filled in the holes in, in that run game. Yeah, I, I think uh, when you talk about stopping the run, it starts with Tari Cooper. It starts with him because he gets our guys lined up properly. And 90% and of playing defense is, is playing your gap. He makes sure that everyone knows what gap they're supposed to be playing in. And so once you know what gap you're supposed to play in, now it just becomes an effort. Game. And uh, I think you saw uh, from my D-line a tremendous amount of effort no matter who was in the game. Guys play with great effort, and, and that's what you got to have to play in the trenches. You got to have great effort. And I know he appreciates it because it keeps the, the lineman off of him so he can go make plays. You, and you rotated a lot of guys in, Pippen played well, some of the other guys that and some of the other guys that came in consistently played good throughout. Can I talk a little bit about more of those individual uh, performances? Yeah, the whole front, you know, one of the leaders, uh, the leader of the front is D. Monterio Anderson. And you got Pierre Montez Pippins, Tyler Martinez, Mike Akins, who's a young kid, uh, Roland Trent, another young kid, Gabe Smith, another young kid. And so uh, we're just we're just trying to continue to grow as a team, play as many guys as we can play. No free loads. We carry 70, everybody better have a job to do. And we expect them to grow. Coach, do you take the so when when I was playing video games, I, I would kick off every time. Out the ball in the second half. I learned from my mentor Kevin Summer years ago. We would have a drill that we call fast start. It gets our players mentally prepared to start the game fast. So we want to take the ball. Start the game fast and play from ahead. Andrew, 
And what was it that allowed y'all to have so much success in that first quarter? It was just the fact that we was just doing everything together. Like, that's one thing that we really, we preach. As long as we all doing the same thing together, there ain't no way that we could be wrong. We're going we gonna to get some type of positive out of it. Did, did you sense a little fatigue from some of the defense early? Uh, you could tell once once we started really just getting to our tempo that they started slowing down slowly but surely. So when we see that, I know my offensive line for sure, they start licking their chops and they already know it's time to dominate. What, what is it from your perspective? What, what does it feel like being out there in that position where everything you're doing seems to be working in the first half? Well, we got great coaches, first off, to set the game plan with the players. And then we also just got, we got a great defense to go against in practice. So it's like, when you go against a great defense, you got, you don't know where to go when the ball's covered on this side. Maybe you got to go to your backside or something like that. So going against our defense every day in practice, that for sure gives us a great look. So going against them, they're making us better and we're making them better at the same time. How do you like playing here? Is this two years ago? I love it. I, Houston, I'm originally from Corpus, so coming to Houston, a bigger city, it was just something that I had to adjust to, but I for sure love it more. I got, I made lifelong friendships in the locker room with my brothers. That's a, that's a real life brotherhood in there. And then I got, I got the relationship with my coaches, so, and it's genuine, so I feel just like home. Cooper, just talk about what you all did. That last two minutes of the first half, was a situation where a lot of defenses don't want to be in, but you all buckled down and it was like, they're not going to score. Uh, it was a thing to where we, we've been through that situation already and not in the game this season yet, but in practice, you know, uh, we practice those situations. So goal line, that's when you strap down and you got to get low in the trenches, and, you know, just make a play. Somebody kind of comes up and make a play. Tonight we was just being disciplined. We had to keep the chain on the QB. He had a great run, I'm not going to lie to you, but we, we just had to keep it contained, keep them inside the box. And that's what we did to let be successful. And then to come out and start the, third, uh, the second half, you all just like, okay, let's continue on. Don't make mistakes. Let's well, stay pretty, in much, pretty much the whole offense is what you see. Uh, they come out in a certain set, they're going to run certain plays, and we, we watch a bunch of films. So it was kind of easy to call out what play they were running before they ran it. So that helped us get in the right spot. So that's communication all over the field. Kind of momentum to stopping them on a goal line provide like that. Oh man, I was sorry, but then uh, I felt like I ain't even played a play yet, you know. So it, it it just keep when I see the person beside me, you know, going as hard as he can, that, that's gonna make me go as hard as I can. So it, it it's contagious around a uh, uh, team around. They was playing well on the offensive side, so like they came out. We was like, okay, bet we see what type of game y'all want to play. That's what we're gonna play. So we just kept it inside each, you know, on our side when I had fun. Coach McKinney, as we finish up, is there anything that you can think of that uh, we hadn't asked about that you saw from the sideline to finish out the game? Yes, sir. <laughs> I asked that question. Yeah, I mean, you, you saw the same game I saw. So I'm just I'm so proud of these these young men. Uh, they've done I've put them through a lot, and they've done everything I've asked them to do. To see us improve each week the way we have. It's just uh, it's a blessing. And I appreciate them for, for believing in me and working hard and doing the things that I've asked them to do. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, team. Thank you, everyone, for coming.